to me as a doctor, SARS is fascinating. And that's not a, I say that kind of with some excitement because of the research uh, abilities that, I, that I'm involved in. It's actually a very scary, very scary situation because it's not acting and responding like a normal virus would. For instance, if you take utensils and you put them through a commercial washer, the heat that that would produce will typically kill off a virus. Not so with SARS. It survives high heat. Some of the symptoms, low-grade fever. So you don't really, you kind of get something, but you're going, eh, nothing big. 100, 101. A little bit of a sore throat, dry cough, headaches, chills, shortness of breath. How many here have been watching the news? I get more hands than that than if you're 15 years or older. Do you remember watching the news and they, they show you the people that are in the Chinese hospitals and they've got them on a mask trying to get them oxygen, but they also have them in oxygen tents. Why? Because the largest organ that you have is your skin and they are trying to push oxygen into that system any possible way. Leads to pneumonia. You can't breathe. You get water on the lungs. What's the final result? Death. Death. 